this is tutorial 4 and we're going to talk about deleting some features so within this bracket we've got um, three fillet features that we added in a prior tutorial so in this first one I'm going to left click I'm going to right click and come up with some options and I'm going to delete those radiuses and as you can see that they're, they're gone and then I'm going to left click on this fillet number two. I'm going to hold my control button down. And if I had more, and actually, you know, that doesn't really show you a whole lot, but uh, it's very similar to using the control and shift or alt button in all the other softwares. But in any event, all the remaining fillets are selected. I'm going to third mouse and select yes to all. So I've got the bracket back to its original state. <coughs> um, we're going to look at the orientation real quick. Okay, um, We're going to look at it from a top view. We're going to look at it from its right, from its bottom, from its left, back, front, and back to isometric. Now we're going to go with this bracket open, we're going to go File, New, and we're going to select a drawing, in this drawing A, B, C, D, and so on. And that just is the size of the sheet. That's 8.5 by 11. B is 11 by 17. Um, so we're going to use 11 by 17. So this is the Open Documents dialog box and we're gonna um, double click on the bracket and it brings it in okay you can left click on and it brings in the current view that we're in and over here it's pretty it's pretty important that you select a, a view that makes sense so right off the bat we'd like to Start with the front view and select OK. And then over here it says projected view. <coughs> and in the past, with CAD, it's been very difficult or not time consuming to develop these projected views. But with a parametric modeling system, all these views have been created for you. So it's just a matter of picking from the model because as parametric the this drawing is related to the uh, the 3d model so all the information that we've already done is available to us alright so this is your first drawing and there's a couple of little tricks that you can do okay if we select the first this view is the first one that we brought in so that's pretty much um, if you move that to the left and the right the vertical views are going to move with it if you move it up and down the horizontal views are going to move with it Okay. Um, let's say for example you want to move all of them because they're crashing into our box down here you select the first view you brought in, you hold down the shift button, and you move them all. So in the event you have something like this, your assembly or your part file is too big, you just select, hold the shift button down, select that middle or your first view, and you move it over a little bit. Give yourself some, some room. Okay? So want to talk a little bit about adding some center lines. Um, the center line is an uh, important feature. Over here in our left view, um, we've got a hole that goes right through our pot. So we want to show that in this particular view. So we left select on 
minus view and we simply click center line one of the important things when you're in this mode is to define your holes and it's easy enough by first going into your shaded view which we're in right now actually we're in the hidden line removed so we're gonna go over to the left one because we want to see our hidden lines and if I if I turn that off again I want you to look at this left view over here and see that the hidden lines um, appear I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off again for a second and I'm gonna select the very first view that we brought in and I'm gonna say select hidden lines when you do something to that first view that you brought in it propagates throughout most I don't know why it didn't happen to the left but we're gonna go ahead and do that view ourselves so we can go up here to the annotation toolbar and select center line and that puts the center lines through each hole now I'm gonna go ahead and, and select that view select this view and select this view so all our center lines have now been added okay in the past in heavy 2d packages um, those would all be drawn moved and added by hand which would be a significant um, efficient way to draw by today's standards so up here in our isometric um, I don't need the hidden view on as a matter of fact I want that to look pretty cool um, and I might just take a look at that but we're gonna go back to the shaded view and select OK and that concludes the first part of this